This video illustrates the 10 steps that I use when undertaking cervical disc arthroplasty, which is the equivalent of joint replacement surgery in the neck. The first step is to obtain a good understanding of the anatomy via the MRI and to take measurements of the pathology shown in that anatomy because those measurements will allow one to customize the prosthesis that will eventually be used here. My preferred device in terms of artificial discs in the cervical spine is the Moby C disc from LDR which is supplied by Device Technologies in Australia and my preference for this device is based on the substantial high quality data that we have now over almost seven years currently for the safety and efficacy that is the benefits of this device. Here you see a photograph of us positioning the patient after aseptic preparation and draping of the skin and the patient is secured on the operating table under the drapes. This image shows the imaging device being brought into the operative area with sterile draping and that device will be used as the prosthesis is trialled and then inserted. Here I am accessing the front part of the cervical spine using a small incision in the neck and minimally invasive techniques. In step 6 on the left the actual discectomy image under the operating microscope and on the right the spinal cord in the cervical spine that is clearly on view as the white area in the center of that particular image once the thickened ligament around that spinal cord has been opened up. The next image shows the trial device inserted into the intended disc space. It is carefully malleted into position under image guidance and step 8 shows the actual disc prosthesis now delivered to that disc space. It is always a particular joy for me to see that image come up on the screen. After the device is placed I check that it is seated properly and the surrounding anatomy is exactly as intended and post-operatively I obtain formal x-rays in this instance showing flexion and extension of the cervical spine with visible intended mobility of the titanium sections of the prosthesis. And of course this approach can be applied to other types of constructs and here is a patient of mine who has undergone a hybrid cervical spine procedure using an artificial disc and a biologically active cage system at the adjacent level. And with these types of surgeries, we have had excellent patient reported outcomes to date.